What's going on guys, Archangel here with my review of Black Desert on live on Xbox. I want to point that out in case you're wondering what platform I'm playing this on, because I know there's people on PC who definitely won't have the same amount of issues that a console player would have when it comes to playing uh, an MMO. So, Black Desert Online is another one of those uh, MMO RPGs, you know, made by a Korean developer. If you play majority of MMOs, you've probably played something similar to Black Desert. Just kind of like Terror, kind of like ESO, kind of like any Japanese style MMO with a Western attempt trying to get a Western audience. So Black Desert, is it good? Black Desert Online is a below average video game. Now, with that said, is it worth playing? Yes. But if you're sitting there and you're playing on PS4 or Xbox and you're thinking to yourself, I wanna get MMO. Black Desert just came out, should I get that game? I would say play Terror. Because Terra is a free-to-play MMO that's basically a better version of Black Desert. They kind of have a lot of similarities in how they how they perform and how they work, but Terra is better and it's free. The, the issues with Black Desert that I experienced for myself personally is the game doesn't run well at all. Um, it's it's laggy, it's buggy. Um, it's, the UI for this game is horrible. Uh, the user interface is just, it's just not good at all. The button layout isn't very good. Um, the way you, you hotkey things isn't very good. The, the menu system isn't very good. Like there's across the board, the interface for, for Black Desert is just not good. And when you play a, a, any kind of RPG or MMO, you want things to be of ease of access. You want things to be, you know, just simple. You want things to be obvious. You want things to be. I'm looking trying to find the, the perfect word for it. But essentially, when you're playing any kind of game, when it comes to your UI. You want everything to just be right there in front of you. You want things to be small. You want things to, to not be like all over the place. When Black Desert, when it comes to the, to the UI, everything is all over the place when it comes to Black Desert. So then you have the, the, the chat box, the chat box, which you can hide. I recently learned that you can hide the chat box, but it takes up a huge portion of your screen and that's a problem. But yes, you can hide it. And, and in general, just hide the chat box because it's toxic. Nothing happens in that chat that's helpful. Nothing happens in that chat that's important. Nothing happens in that chat that's about the game itself. The chat, whenever I'm playing the Black Desert, it's just nothing but toxic bullshit. People are being racist. People are being sexist. People are being homophobic. They find it's just basically all the degenerates that play video games are commenting in the little chat for in Black Desert. So I mentioned like how the chat takes up a majority of the freaking screen. In general, when it comes to the screen itself, I feel like too much of that screen is dedicated to other things other than the game itself. And when it comes to you know the visuals of the game, the game in a lot of aspects is very beautiful. When it comes to the character models, when it comes to the character uh, physics, the character look is beautiful. But a lot of times there's pop-ins, there's textural pop-ins, there's poor rendering and the blood looks awful. The blood render is just terrible in, in this game. So when you have like all this, this bad texture, this bad pop-ins, it's this rendering issue. The game kind of looks fuzzy, kind of looks blurry, kind of looks weird when it comes to the visuals of the game. The other issue that I have with Black Desert is the character creator. When you play any kind of RPG, MMO, any, any, any game that involves character creation, you want the character creator to be expansive. You want the character creator to be deep. You want it to be, you know, you want, you want to be able to make your character your character. You want to be able to make your character look unique to, to the person who's creating it. You don't want your character looking like every other character out there and with black desert the character creator is so basic and so silly it's like you really can't make your own character every character in that game is, is going to look exactly the same if you're playing a certain character if you're playing the sorcerer you're going to look exactly the same with minor detail changes minor body changes like maybe your character has smaller thighs than this one else character would but overall you want to look exactly the same because there's not a lot of faces to choose between there's not a lot of body types to choose between so your character's gonna look exactly the same and that's a problem when you play games like ESO, where you can have a lot of customization to make your character look like your character. In comes to some like Terror, the same thing there, you make your character look like your character. Mass Effect, Dragon Age, all these RPGs that have expansive character creators, your character looks like your character. You're not going to go on YouTube watching a Dragon Age video and see one person's main character, go to another Dragon Age video, see one main character, and go, oh, they look exactly alike. Terra, same thing. But with Black Desert, everyone looks exactly alike. So back to the whole point of, you know, the pop-ins. It's not just the, the environment that pops, it's not even just the landscape. It's also the NPCs and the, and the people. And that's a problem when you're walking around the game and you're trying to get from one place to the other and you, you're just walking into nothing. 
and you're trying to figure out, like, well, I'm walking into, there's nothing in front of me. Why can't I move? It's an NPC who hasn't, who hasn't rendered in yet. And that's a problem. So they, they, there's a lot of things the game needs, needs to work on. It's a game that, that had more than one beta. So it's not like, oh, this is an early release. They're, you know, they're still working on kind of on, on things. The game ha, ha, has had more than one beta. All the servers are always overcrowded. All the servers are always lagging. And it's like, at some point, something got to give in 2019 when it comes to how games run. We just had the situation with Anthem. Had the situation with Fallout 76. Had the situation with Battlefield 5. Why are these games not running right? So when it comes to, you know, is Black Desert enjoyable? Yes, I think the game is very enjoyable. You know, it, it, it's issues aside, I've, I have two characters in Black Desert. One's a level 23, one's a level 14. Um, Black Desert is a game to me that you can play if you're just trying to waste some time. If you're trying to just, you know, wait for friends to get online, you don't really have anything else to do, so you just play Black Desert a little bit. Um, you, you, you're trying to just, you know, just enjoy you know, just a, a quick hour or two of gaming without being frustrated, things like that. That's what Black Desert is good for. But at its lowest price point, because it has multiple editions that you can buy, it's $10. So it's $10 worth, you know, an hour of wasting your time until your friends get online. Or would you rather just go play Terra, which is, like I said before, a better version of Black Desert that's free to play? So if I had to give Black Desert Online a score, again, it's a quick review, not gonna sit here and waste your time too much. I will say Black Desert right now, as it stands, is like a, a five. A five out of ten. Now, I don't really grade reviews that low because I'm usually pretty good at, you know, finding out what kind of games I enjoy. But Black Desert isn't special. It's not unique. It's not anything other than a below average MMO. But because of its, you know, when it works right, the beautiful visuals, the beautiful character models, the ability that you can actually, you, you can have fun, you can enjoy yourself. I won't say it's a five. The other issue that Black Desert has that I didn't mention is, if someone's not in your party, they can't attack what you're what you're attacking. So if the mission tells that you have to, to destroy 25 trees, if other people who, who are in the, the world are also fighting those trees, someone's not gonna get credit for that for that kill in that tree. And that's a problem. The other issue is the quest can be pretty buggy. I had a quest last night, uh, based from the time of this review, where I had to use a scroll to summon a boss. And that's how you fight bosses in the game. You have to use a scroll to summon the boss and they show up. My scroll was in my inventory. It glitched. I, I kept looking for it. wasn't there. wasn't going to talk to the, the quest giver, see if they give it to me again. wasn't there. I had, to, I had to forfeit the quest and restart it just to get the scroll back into my inventory. So there's issues with the game. I would say wait. If you like are super interested in buying it on console, wait. But if you're you know on the fence, just, just don't buy it at all. Just go play Terror. Go play ESO. Go play Neverwinter. There's better MMOs on console to play than Black Desert. And I want to enjoy this game so much because I mentioned before a long time ago when I first announced it for Xbox that I was extremely interested in Black Desert Online. And it's disappointing that it's not what I thought it would be and it's not what I hoped it to be. And that er there's other games on console in this genre that's just better. But with all that said, guys, this video, this video, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.